This is a super quick video on slip trailing. I'm calling it a mini video for my students. It shows a really simple, quick and easy application. Um, slip trailing is always done on leather hard clay and your slip should be the same clay body really or a compatible clay body. Here I'm using the exact same clay body just watered down. Now in my class I keep bottles of slip in squeezy bottles ready to go. They're either up on my desk or if I'm out I will put them on the sink for my students to use. Now we are using the standard uh, 255 in a squeezy bottle, it has a tip that gets cleaned, it has a piece of plastic underneath, and it has a little cap on the end of the tip. So when you put it back, you should always clean it. Now, one of the first things that you can do when you slip trail is you could go ahead and draw out exactly what you want. So when you go to slip trail, you are just squeezing it on. Now always make sure that you're shaking up that bottle because your slip will have tendency to have the water kind of um, settle out uh, and it, the water comes to the top. So you want to shake it up. Now when you put that on there, be really careful about not touching it. So you can see I have it on a towel here on a turntable. That's because I don't want to damage the back side of the cup if I'm tilting it. And uh, I can't lean it on that slip though. You have to be really aware of what you're doing so you don't accidentally touch it. Now you can do all sorts of different design ideas with slip. You might want to look up some ideas on the internet. The bottles that we're using here, although they are a smaller tip, they're not a fine tip. Um, now, let's say you make an accident, like right here. I didn't like that flower. I thought it was a little clunky and awkward looking. So what I can do is I'm going to take a rib and I'm just going to rib that off. And then if I open up my a squeezy bottle, I can just put all that slip back in there. So if you make a mistake, just rib it off, save the slip, put it back in there. Now my slip has previously been sieved. It was just the clay body that I put in a blender. I blended it up so it's like a milkshake and then I ran it through sieve to remove the grog because this is a grogged stoneware. Once you just kind of clean that off, then you can just continue right on again. And there I hadn't bothered doing uh, the initial drawing. I, I'm just freehanding it on there. Yeah, now you have to pay attention. If your slip is super runny, it might start to drip on you. This slip is pretty stable as long as I'm applying it kind of horizontally and then when I turn it vertically it's okay. But um, you just have to pay attention to how thick your slip is. Now thicker slip might get stuck in the bottle or it might leave really sharp points and I'll show you how to get rid of if you have sharp points in a little bit. Now again you don't want to touch it. For my students you're going to put your pieces in your bin. So there I was saying I'm going to show you how, how to get rid of the sharp points. Here I'm just going to do some dots but when you go to uh, allow this to dry my students you would put it in your in your damp boxes that way it can dry slowly the moisture will even out um, because again, this is a cup with a handle. I don't want to just leave it uncovered and certainly I cannot cover it with a bag or I'm gonna mess up that slip. Now, when you're totally done, you're going to take that bottle, unscrew the cap and you have to clean the cap out. So use one of those stiff bristled cleaning brushes from the, uh, the tool bins. I'm gonna get in there, I'm gonna clean that cap out. If I don't clean this out, it is going to dry and it will clog for the next person. So always be considerate and clean that out. And then you're going to put that little uh, end cap back on, okay? Then I'm going to take the plastic that was initially underneath there. Now the purpose of the plastic is to keep the air from getting down into the slip. So if I put the plastic on there first, and I did clean the slip off the plastic, then I put the lid back on, the cap is clean and it is now ready to go back into the little container for the next person. Now this is what I was talking about. If you ever have a point on your uh, slip, if it comes to a point, you can just take your thumb and press the point down. Uh, in the case of this one, it's not quite so pointy. Sometimes if your slip is a little thicker, it might produce fine points. There, that's a little bit pointier down there. So when it gets to the plastic stage, but it's not sticky, you can just press it in. If, uh, if you want to, you could even take something like a, a towel and place over it, like a fine weave towel, 
and when you press over it, um, it, it might not hurt your thumb or something as much. Or you could take a tool and even press it down. But there we go. We're just going to press that down. And again, um, you don't want to allow things uh, to just completely be uncovered because you want a nice, slow, even drying. And students will talk about that later. So um, I hope you give this a shot and enjoy it and um, have fun with slip trailing.